Hello everybody. I want to show everyone, especially our overseas viewers, one of our great English sporting estates, Beaver Castle. Set in over 16,000 acres of glorious English countryside. We are kindly invited by Her Grace the Duchess of Rutland to film her birthday shoot. A little stirred up day, as she calls it, for family and friends. Although a very traditional shooting estate, atypical of all the great English estates, Beaver has some surprising drives, capable of testing the best. This stately spread is cared for by people who love the countryside and our shooting sports. Enormous amounts of money and effort are spent on the conservation of its ancient flora and fauna. And at the head of this monolithic task sits the Duke and Duchess of Rutland. Especially keen to see that the shooting sport survived for millennia is Her Grace the Duchess, Emma Manners. A very keen shot, but keener still on the conservation side of things. As I found out while spending time with Her Grace, she's a very hands-on conservationist, not afraid to speak her mind in defending shooting as the correct tool for saving our glorious countryside and its inhabitants. So sit back, and enjoy a nice day out on a traditional old English game shooting estate. Not only a great sporting estate, it is also a great place to stay. With the curlew's nest lying at the furthest end of the estate, shoot guests can relax in beautiful, peaceful surroundings. You may even get a chance to stay in the castle itself, overlooking the landscapes created many years ago by Capability Brown. Morning Beaver, first day of shooting. It's the Duchess's birthday today, so happy birthday. Oh, we're at the glorious Beaver Castle. It is a bit sunny, but there's a fair bit of breeze up there, so it's only a stir up day. It's her Grace's birthday today, so it's very formal today, just a nice day out with the family and hopefully we'll see some nice passages but as I say it's the first time through, just have a nice relaxing day. It's great to be out on the first day of the season. Just trying some, uh, some prototypes for game board today. 34 gram five just a little bit of a step up from the from the grouse which is a 30 33 uh, five and a half but uh, i've asked him to make these 34 gram fives just to try them on the on the uh, parties all the way through the season i know it's early doors but we'll, we'll, we'll give them a try today see what they like
first time through and uh, flew bloody well them little passes. We have got a, bit, uh, a good strong breeze now which helped. They'll only get stronger and stronger these, uh, these birds. But what a fantastic start. If, if you do come on an early uh, passage day, you can also make the, the shooting a little bit better you, you, yourself by just picking the, the good ones out. You know, it's absolutely fantastic. No grumbles at all. I'll tell you what, Phil, they flew well, them little flew well, didn't they? Unbelievable. Didn't think that, but yeah. you can look, look at that. Yeah, look, I was just saying know, how fit they are. They're starting yeah. to get real red legs, yeah. beautifully plumed. Yeah. No substitute yeah. for getting them out early. No, yeah, you know. when, when you think about it, it's the first, it's a stirred up day, really. Yeah. The first day out. And the curl on these little birds and yeah. the strength of them was unbelievable. Well, well as long as you enjoyed it. Yeah, well, hey, well done, mate. That's good. a good first try. Good. Yeah. Love it. Just finished the second drive at uh, Beaver. Nice windy birds. Uh, just to be Jamie Carnegie. Is that right? Yeah, Jamie? That's it. Is that the right yeah. pronunciation? Well done, Jamie. Maybe Thank you, you very much. Thank you. In this small clip filmed early in the year of an interview with Phil Burt, Phil explains to me the reason why they have so many songbirds and finches at Beaver Castle. As you can see, the conservation at Beaver is outstanding. If we weren't interested in nature, would we be planting them or would we be cropping into the edge and making money exactly. out of that yeah. land? Yeah. And, and this is not only as anything, yeah. but it's it's looking after the yeah, countryside. Some, yeah, brilliant. And how many of you planted like this? With four miles, acres? With four miles yeah. of, of this, which I did in a, a period of two years, which was sort of six yeah. and seven years ago. Yeah. And, and, and mixed farm woodland, yeah. so it gives that diverse... Yeah. Um, Would you just like to see how many, how many uh, uh, crops like this if back and planted in his, in his, in his life. Yeah. I don't think he's Mr. ever planted Mr. a tree. He won't have planted anything. No. Just caught one of our little buddies. We're actually shooting not far off part of the estate called Frog Hall. And there's the little boy here. Hey up. There he is. <laughs> Well, I'd like to start on congratulating you getting to a ripe old age. Well done. Okay, 77 how, now. 77 now. Yeah. And how long how long have you been keeping? All your life? No. no. I started off in the pits in Yorkshire. And then I applied for this job in 1974 and got it. Yeah. And, I've been yeah. here and you're, reti you're retired now, aren't you? But yeah. you still come out in the field every day when, it's, when you get a chance. Yeah, yeah. drive people around yeah. and look after them a bit. And, 
talk to me down at the ground. So it's, it's changed then, a lot from when you first started oh, then? Oh, cracky, yeah. When I yeah. started doing it with, yeah. with four beats. Horse and cart days. <laughs> yeah, four beats and Joe Wheels and children twice each and that was it. And that was it, yeah. yeah. I think uh, our governing bodies, they haven't done a, do a very good job of educating the youngsters in these towns and no, cities. They, they should no. have been in the schools no. a long time ago because what we're seeing now has is, is been waiting to happen. Yeah. You know, oh, all yeah. this anti-shooting and everything. We've got a scheme here. It's, the Grace's patron, it's the Cricket Trust, and yeah. what we do, we have kids come here yeah. uh, from um, inner city schools. Yeah, and then enjoy a day out. Yeah. And they love it. Yeah. And some of the questions what they ask are kids, eight, nine, ten year old, yeah. you know. One of our most wasted resources is people like yourself, old ex-gamekeepers, yeah. that know all about the countryside Side, and yeah. could go into them schools yeah. and spend an hour a week, that's all, know, and yeah. that keep those youngsters enthralled. Yeah. A very interesting chap and it's been a pleasure speaking to you, sir. Thank you very much. And what's your name again? John. Big, they always call me Big John here. That's Big, Big John. Well, what a fantastic day. Thank it's you. It's absolutely brilliant, Emma. And uh, thank you for inviting us. It's been a it's, pleasure. It's, it's been an absolute pleasure for us as well. It has been yeah. for me. One of the most fantastic uh, shooting arenas that we've seen. Is it? It's so, well, it's so beautiful. The estate's fantastic. Oh. But I just want to touch on a few things. You know, we've got this aura in the, or this myth in the shooting world that it seems to be them and us, you know. We have a, a, this what I call a myth that we are, you are different from us because you live in a, the ivory tower, you know. But that's further from the truth because you are what I call a rooting, tooting, shooting lady. <laughs> you know, and you're just a, a pure, well, I... you're just a pure country girl, and I'm just a pure country boy, yes. and that blends every kind of personality together well, in the countryside. there is no class with there's this. No, there's no, no it's whatsoever. It's classless. Yeah. So for me, you know, I, but remember David, I am a Welsh farmer's daughter, yeah. so I didn't, I wasn't born onto yeah. this planet as um, an entitled or yeah. in any way a lady or an, yeah. anything like that. I'm yeah. just straightforward Welsh but, farmer's yeah. daughter and what I've been given is this gift to cherish and embrace the countryside and do it its utmost respect yeah. by running a shoot at the highest level yeah. and we run a lot of days and we're not embarrassed about that and we sh sometimes they shoot yeah. about 300 sometimes 200 that is not relevant Dave because actually every single bird goes yeah. straight into the food chain to we use it here in yeah. the fuel tank yeah. in the balloon bar yeah. we have a butcher on site yeah. in the engine yard yeah. in our own retail village so I embrace yeah. what we do. We're, we're going back to our roots, hunter-gatherers. Yeah. I've only known you very briefly, three or four times we've met. I've been absolutely enthused by your enthusiasm, and which is, in fact, protecting the countryside. Yeah. It's a pleasure to meet somebody oh. that's, that's, that's actually in charge of a place like this and can actually do some good in the countryside well, I'm and here. can get it out there yeah. as well. Keep you know. coming and asking me. I'm yeah. there to help yeah. and I would love to fly the flag. Yeah. The white flag actually to say we're about peace yeah. but it's about eating healthy yeah. food That's right. in a healthy yeah. way and restabilizing society with our planet. Yeah. We've got to nurture people like yourself and my own daughter's the same. She is. She promotes shooting. She is. Not, not born of a 
a wealthy background, but she'd been brought up properly, but brought up with morals and to pr protect the countryside yes. and to make use of it as well. Not not waste things, you know, if she shoots a couple of pigeons, she eats them. Yes. You know, if she shoots Cucks a deer. Guts them, yeah. eats them. Guts them, eats them. And teaching my grandkids to do the same. There's a lot of a lot of people out there that are that's passionate about the countryside that never get heard, you know. Like yourself, really, you know, because yes. of that sort of barrier, they think, oh, yeah. she's, she's a duchess. But that couldn't be further from the truth, yeah. because in your, in in your heart, heart, you're a pure, pure and out-and-out -out country. Yeah. And I thank you, ma'am, for having me on today and, oh. and for letting us and inviting us to this wonderful show. Oh, we've loved having you. It's been brilliant. Thank Absolutely you very much. loved having thank you. you.